Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, here we are uh, doing our test fly with the uh, USB-C to Ethernet adapter with the uh, uh, PNDG737 and uh, I just wanted to do this quick video just to show you that there's no issues when it comes to latency uh, when you're doing a USB-C to Ethernet adapter. Uh, as you can see there, if you focus on the network latency, this is not going above six milliseconds at any point here. Now you're gonna see some latency there on a the game latency, but that's more because of the resources of my computer. So don't let that fool you, uh, thinking that USB-C to Ethernet is going to give you more latency than uh, USB-C uh, to uh, well USB tether or wireless. There's just no way. So I just wanted to do this quick video here, just kind of uh, focus there as we approach or get on our final here to Miami. Again, the, the whole plane is not even set up here properly. I just wanted to do a quick fly here just to show you that uh, this, this method, it's probably the best right now because you, you are not going to encounter the problems of uh, 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 blue screens, uh, windows crashing, uh, because of driver issues with the uh, USB tether so that's pretty much not gonna happen here uh, and I can guarantee you that so let's see if we can make it here on one of these runways again now uh, the whole plane is not even set up I'm just kind of doing a squid fly here just to uh, show you here and uh, for those of you wondering why I'm getting such low frame rates I am right now I am not using DLSS so if I enable DLSS, these frames will jump all the way to almost 40, uh, 40 frames per second. All right, so here we are. Look at Miami right there. That looks beautiful. That looks beautiful, man. 1,000. a little bit here to help us uh, descend smoothly here you're probably not gonna be able able to hear me well because I forgot to lower the volume here on the simulator 500. Uh, I'm not sure how that's gonna come out but if it's too low on the audio uh, then I'm gonna probably 400. not upload this video but if it's fine then I'll You'll be able to see it. So we'll see. Three hundred. Two hundred. One hundred. Pretty high. Fifty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. some binding uh, messed up here with reverse nope it's not taking it's not taking reverse I got the wrong I got the wrong uh, controller setup here I am using the uh, throttle setup or bindings for my for the Airbus not the proper one for the uh, Boeing they work differently I have a toggle pretty much all right so yeah Everything looking pretty smooth here on the exit. I'm not sure how that's gonna come out on the video, but here it looks pretty smooth, I must admit. We're gonna just park on whatever gate that we can find here. Yeah, let's just do it here. All right, let's go ahead and uh, turn off the taxi line. Just wait for those ground vehicles pass by. And we're gonna make it right here. Yeah. 
again, I mean, I'm not sure if you've been paying attention to the network latency. It is just perfect. It is just perfect. And I'm going to show you something here that I couldn't show you earlier because I was just so distracted on the line here. But I am going to show you something here. Set the parking brake. So let me show you real quick that I am not running with wireless. So as you can see, wireless is uh, Wi-Fi is completely turned off. And as you can see here, I am getting charged on a hexit. It is getting charged with the USB-C to Ethernet adapter that I uh, bought. I have a uh, pretty much a charger, normal charger, like cell phone charger, uh, plugged into that adapter. And then, of course, the rest is just going to the Pico 4 uh, on a USB-C and then a, a uh, Ethernet cable. Uh, going to my net, my my router here on my network, and I am getting charged. So this is just doing its job perfectly. And look at the latency, latency, network latency looks pretty good to me. Again, don't don't focus too much on the game latency. Let me just show you here your score. I'll take it showing you here. Uh, let let's just hit, go ahead and enable the um, DLSS. Right, so you see how many frames I'm getting now? 38, 40 frames per second, and game latency went all the way down to like below 30 milliseconds. Uh, again, with DLSS, it just, it works pretty well. I get way more frames, right? And it looks way, or feels way smoother. The problem is with this uh, airliner, that you get ghosting on the altitude tape, on the speed tape, on anything that has numbers including this here so you can see here let me just show you do you see how ghosty it looks when I am moving the numbers up or down here uh, same on the altitude yeah I I find that very distracting and I'm, I'm not really sure if uh, um, Nvidia is gonna is gonna work with Microsoft on this one here just to make those ghosting go away because I, I I'm not really sure why that's happening because we're not doing frame generation. I mean, my, my graphics card don't even support frame generation. So I don't really know what's causing this, to be honest. And I hope they can get it fixed. Anyway, so I think uh, we, sh we are good here to kind of wrap up this quick video. Uh, again, th this was just a test fly, me testing my uh, USB-C to Ethernet adapter. And as you can see, works perfectly. No latency as far as network latency is concerned. Uh, no stutters. Uh, because of uh, jitter on the latency when you're on Wi-Fi for example and of course uh, no crashes no uh, no blue screens even though I was no longer getting them with a driver that I uh, uh, mentioned on my previous video but still I still had that on, on the back of my mind just kind of like worrying oh man I am recording right now hopefully I not gonna get any blue screens but now I don't have to worry at all about blue screens because the Pico 4 is straight connected to my network. Uh, nothing is connected to my uh, desktop here from the Pico 4 point of view. All right, so I really do appreciate you joining me again here, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.